Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Dr. Lasky. I'm a consultant radiologist and thank you for watching this video. I'm going to help you guys be a little bit more efficient with your reporting. That's right. I'm going to do a little bit of an update of some of the stuff I've spoken about previously, but this time I'm going to tell you about some of the stuff I've used. So you guys don't have to go through some of the hassle I did by buying lots of random gadgets that will just turn out to be absolutely useless. Honestly, I've got a drawer full of random mice, mouses, whatever, that just haven't been that great, but I've kind of settled on, on, on some stuff here that I think you might find quite useful. So if you are a radiologist, you may find yourself working for a few different companies and as time goes on, your desk space becomes prime real estate. You've got screen off the screen, off the screen, off the screen. Where am I going to fit all this stuff in, right? This is not possible. And it turns out that some companies actually allow you to use the same screens you may already own. And that can be really useful. All you have to do is let them know they do the calibrations and they're normally okay with it. Or they get you to sign a document to say that you will always be using a compliance screen for their work. Then I guess it's on you. Now, what I found particularly useful in this situation is using something called a KVM switch. Now, KVM switches are really great because it means that you can use one screen for multiple stations. The one that I got was a bit pricey, but I still highly recommend it. It's made by a company called TestSmart. I found it on Amazon. It looks okay. I mean, it looks like a, a, like a VCR player from JVC back in the day, but it does the business. It's really, really good, completely reliable. And you may find yourself working with one computer. You press a button, the next thing you know, you're working for another computer. Now, if you use the next two gadgets, with this, then you can actually literally expand your horizons from four computers all the way to six computers. Now the keyboard that I use is known as the MX Master Keys made by Logitech. Now I've got to say, I never thought I'd get excited about keyboards. I never thought I'd care about keyboards, but this keyboard is, it's sweet man, honestly. It's like got really soft feel to the buttons and they don't click too much, but they click enough so you know you've touched them. It's backlit as well and it can actually connect to at least three different computers on its own. So when you use this with a combination of the KVM switch, you can actually end up using this for be up to six different computers. Word to the wise though, make sure that you get the keyboard with the USB connection as well, because I think I bought one without it and that just wouldn't work for the setup that I'm talking about. And the one thing that goes hand in hand with that is known as the MX Master 3 mouse. And if you are someone that's on YouTube, you may notice that a lot of people have got this particular mouse. And for good reason. Honestly, again, I didn't think I'd be excited about this kind of thing, but this is a nice mouse. It slides along, it glides, it's got a good weight to it. Buttons are quite clicky. The wheel is kind of like clicky enough so you know you've actually spun that thing. And you've got two different speeds for how much that wheel can go. Genuinely, I know it sounds completely weird, but on, this is a really, really good mouse. And if you're gonna be in the market for mice, then I'd get it. Now, the thing about this mouse and actually a lot of mice is that you can actually map the buttons to be able to switch between windows. That can be really useful when you're reporting. Instead of looking for the right keyboard shortcut, you just use your thumb to click through the window. The next thing you know, looking at the lung windows, the bone windows, and whatever else you need. Quick interruption here, and I'd just like to say a big, big thank you to Everlight for sponsoring this video. Do check them out. They specialize in offshoring radiologists around the world, enabling you to take advantage of the time differences between places and be able to make sure that you are always reporting in the daylight hours. And with that, we go back to the video. Now, the next gadget, it's a little bit odd and it's one of those situations where I thought I'd struck the most amazing idea ever and I went on to Amazon and, and then someone's already thought of it and there's a whole industry behind the whole thing. And this is called a mouse jiggler and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It jiggles your mouse, which sounds really weird, doesn't it? What it does is essentially make the mouse move around as if someone was there. And that can be really useful, believe it or not. And when you look around on the internet, some of the reviews are absolutely hilarious because some people, unfortunately, have got jobs where they're monitored in terms of how much work they're doing on the computer. And they do that by watching how that mouse moves, which is really weird. But people have realized that you can stick this thing in, click the button and go get your coffee or whatever else you need to do. Why is it useful for someone like me? Like, it's not as I can get it to authorize the scans, right? Right? No, I, that's not what I'm using it for. What I notice is that sometimes when I do go grab myself a cup of coffee, I come back up and the screen is on. And now you've got to log in again. And you think, oh, I wasn't gone for that long. I just want to get a coffee. Why are you doing that to me? What you do with this one is you click it before you leave, close the door, go downstairs, and this thing will just move around. And then it, the screen saver doesn't come on, which means that when you come back, you just press it again and then it stops. And the great thing about it, it goes in three different speeds, which I can't actually think of why that would be more useful, 
But anyway, it does three different speeds. Talking about getting a cup of coffee, I feel like I've got to this age where you kind of think to yourself, how much more can they connect to the internet? And, and, and at what point are we going to say, why are we connecting this to the internet? Like, why? It makes no sense. And this is how I felt when I saw this thing. It's called the Ember Mug. And I thought, what mug came up with that one? And then it turned out I was the mug for buying it. Now, genuinely, this is actually really, really useful. It looks nice. Okay, it's got a really heavy feel to it. And it charges on its own contactless charger. And it connects to your phone so you can change the temperature of the drink that's within there within it when you use it now you think that's completely balmy isn't it but genuinely sometimes you're porting you're in for a long session and it's just really really nice to have a great hot cup of coffee that's just sitting there waiting for the entire time you can leave you can come back and this thing is still hot and i bought it recently for my brother-in-law and i think he finds it really useful because he does a fair bit of mdt work and it's nice to sip on a hot cup of coffee when you're doing an mdt and talking to people and i genuinely think it's useful if you do know someone that may be wanting a cup of coffee and they're quite fussy about the temperature and raid oils in particular then yeah you should definitely get this now the next piece of kit is something that i feel like maybe someone out there relates to me with it's where you kind of justify getting a piece of tech kind of more because you want to get it and you're not entirely sure how useful it is and this is exactly what this probably was in the beginning this is the meta ray-ban sunglasses now you're thinking why on earth would i get ray-ban sunglasses i'm a radiologist i'm cool already i don't need to be wearing sunglasses while reporting as well i mean how much cooler could i get now genuinely the ones that i got are the ones that get dark when you go outside but when you're inside they're clear and it's really useful because they connect to your phone which means that you can take referrals when you are are reporting so you can imagine that you know if you're reporting and you get a phone call you've already got a keyboard on a mouse and you've got this key, you know you've got all this stuff in your hands already maybe even the coffee mug and suddenly a phone call comes in you kind of don't want to put everything down it's actually really nice just a double tap on the side take your phone call have a chat with whoever it is and then double tap on the side when you finish and it has made things a lot easier it's meant that i don't have to keep closing windows i don't have to keep putting things down and picking them up and dropping them on the floor it genuinely is just that double tap get the phone call double tap and get rid of the phone call maybe try it out and actually what i found really great about it as time's gone on it's quite good to take photos with i have to say and videos it's really really good so sometimes when i'm out with the kids it can be really useful instead of taking my phone out just to press that little button and take a nice video and photo of the children. Oh no, it's hay fever. Now the final piece of kit that I would say has been an absolute game changer and highly, highly recommend. A little bit pricey and I'll put the link of the guy that will help you buy it down below. I bought it for them and genuinely there were no issues. It's the Jusha Thin Screen. Now this thing is brilliant. Honestly, I have been in a few situations where I've been at my parents' house or I've been traveling. I've just taken out the laptop, put it in, close the curtains and then I go do the work on the screen that I need to or review whatever I need to. And this screen is light, it's durable, it, it does the job every single time. I mean, I can't really sing enough praises. I would highly, highly recommend it for anyone that may want to start doing a little bit of traveling with your reporting. Now, speaking of traveling, I'm the kind of person that, especially during summer holidays and Christmas holidays, I like to get an Airbnb somewhere up and down the country and then I wake up a little bit early, do a few hours of work and then the kids wake up, they may be playing in the playground or whatever else is in the in the place that we've rented out. And then I close it all down, put it into my computer bag and then walk off and then I'm done. So it really has opened the world to me. And so I highly recommend using it if you are the kind of person who may want to do a little bit of traveling or maybe a little bit more mobile with the work that you do. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Do let me know if you've got other gadgets that you use that have enabled you to be quicker, better, faster, stronger. If you find any of the stuff I, I've talked about useful, yeah, let me know i'd love to know how it's gone for you again i want to say a big big thank you to everlight for sponsoring this video and uh, i'll see you on the next one bye